Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will briefly be looking at Landsat 7 ETF Plus. The last video we did was uh, we learned how to download Landsat 8 and we are able to do classification and all that. So we'll be replicating the same thing on Landsat 7 ETM Plus. So um, for you to download Landsat Image in general, you have to go to their site www.hexplorer.usgs.gov uh, you go to www.explorer.gov These two sites are owned by United States Geographic, Geographic Survey as USGS Alright, so basically I'm already on the site and you must have an account with them So without our account, I have show you how to do that in one of my previous videos so we have to create an account that we must be logged in for you to be able to download so at our location today the last time we used AMAC but today we are going to be using Nasarawa Lanfia very close to so I'm going to just search now here under this search criteria there are three things you need to take note search criteria data search and result so under search criteria we have where we can input three things. Once we sign, we have future, we have address, we have path and rule. And then we also have KML and shape file. You can upload the shape file of that area and then you can be able to download. So I'm going to use address and then we're going to search for Lafra. Search for Lafra and then we click show. So Lafayette is short, so the click on is going to take us to Lafayette and we're going to go to data set and now we're looking at Landsat. So you click on Landsat and we're looking at level 2, collection 2 level 1. Okay, so you click on Landsat, 7 ETL PS. Uh, I'm looking at 2009. Why I'm not looking at 2009 is not as if I want to do repetitive videos, but it's something I want to achieve with it. Uh, so let's go and find 2009. Uh, so I will have easily put 2009 on the search criteria but I want us to be manually so I'm going to just go to page 13 so page 13 should have 2009 if it's not but we'll check another one so page 13 is showing us 2006 so let's put page 11 and C. So we have 2009 page 11. So uh, if we click there, we see that this highlight last year already. So we are going to check the, the cloud color of the image, we have 1% here. So if you check the image, it's not showing that one. So let's check the other one upward and see whether this one is better than the other one so let's check so this other one we have two clouds cover all right so let's check this other 26 and two how far now so this one has zero clouds cover see that's kind of what to download this so you see this download button you have this drop down let's click on it And then you click on product options and then we click on this. So this will download you the Lazard image. Alright, so we'll do loading. So I will be back once the download is completed so that we can start the new processing. Alright. So the download is successful and I have copied it to this folder. Alright, so we have it uh, 2009. Right? So, every way to do is to right click on it. We have a window or a 7 zip extractor. We can easily download them there just in Kilebai. So, right click on it and we'll extract to LE07. So, and then you're going to extract. I will be extracted so we'll always extract it again. So,
So we've extracted it and we have 2009 here. Now, when you look at this data, let's click on it and see something. Unlike the Lancet 8, this has an issue. This has a we call scan light corrector. There is a scan light corrector on the satellite when it was launched. So because there's mechanica in Lancet 7, it turned off. So the cost that will involve them sending a, a, an engineer to go and fix it is expensive. So they left it on and then they created something that you can use. So the I will call gap marks. So this uh that marks will fill the 22% of the data that were lost in this scan line. I'm trying to preview, but it's not showing. So we're going to first fix this before we proceed with work with it, all right? So um, we're going to be using QGIS to be doing that uh, corrections. So if we have QGIS in the version, version 2.6, version any of the version at all, you go to raster and then you come to analysis and then you go to female data. So you click on it. So if you click on the female data, here is the input. So the input will be which of the band of this uh, data you have. So we're only going to be cleaning not all the uh, the, the land side bands. Because it's not everybody we're going to be using. So I want to be cleaning a few error. Right. The image has finally opened. Not really open yet. So let's go back and continue what we're doing. So uh, we're going to be cleaning just the ones that we'll be using. So here, Lancet 7, 2009. So our input will be band 1 because we're going to be using band 1, band 2, band 3, band 4, band 5, and band 7. Band 6 is a thermal band. So here we have band 6 VCID. It's a thermal band for this using a calculating land surface temperature and anything within the heat region. Uh, so I'm going to input band 1. And I'm going to click open. So band 1 will be imputed. And then... The next is you come down here and then you're going to have validity marks. But before then, so validity marks, which is the next one, which is uh, the gap fix and uh, gap marks. This. We're going to select band 1 there too, and then you click open. And then the last is where do you want the data to be saved to? So you click on this one here. Sorry. Where the data to be saved to? So we're going to save the file to a permanent place. All right. I think there is a little change in this uh, version, so I'm trying to navigate my way around. So we're going to create a folder, and uh, I'm going to name this folder field, so that we will know that this is the one we're going to be using. So here we're going to just say B1, so that will stand for ban one. And then we're going to click run. It's still not showing, so let's just cancel them. So it's processing.
So we can see that it has processed, finished, and there's no more uh, gap marks. There's no more uh, data that is left. It has been refilled. All right, so the next is we're going to do that for the remaining part of the balance. So this time I want to start with the uh, remaining band two from the sieve. All right, this is how I do my own. So we we'll go up and then we we'll put in the validity marks band two. Oh, we're still there, sorry. So we're going to put band two here and we'll open. And then we'll finally come back to the input. So I'm going to click on band two and then I'm going to run. So I'll do that for the remaining bands and then I'll come back for us to continue. So I've done five bands, so I want us to do the last one together. For the last time, your input is the one that you're trying to correct. So here we're going to use band seven for this. So we have band one, two, three, four, five, seven, no six. So we're going to click on the band seven well. Band eight is panchromatic band, so except we're doing panchromatic sharpening. So where we have, you can see we have five bands here. So this will be the sixth band. So I'll run them at band seven. And then I'm going to save. So I'm going to click run. So once this is done, we'll be able to uh, eliminate those scan lines that are on it that result to about 22% of data loss. And that's a huge data. Huge data. 22% of 100 and 85 kilometer by 185 kilometer of data. If you calculate that, the start is massive. So we'll be able to do that so far. So now we're going to close this. You can see we've already done that already. So the data is clean. So we're going to proceed now to Elders imaging for lower stacking. So let's go. So you're going to launch your so before we before we go to um Eldas imaging, here are a few things we've done so far. We're able to download the Landsat imagery, we're able to correct the SLC errors as a land scan line corrector. We're able to do that. So now we're going to go to Eldas imaging to proceed into um layer stacking. So wherever your elders is on your system, you just search for it and then you launch it. So with your elders launch, <clears throat> we're going to, this is elders image in 2022. And uh, to perform layer stack, you go to raster from your home tab and then you click on spectra then you click on layers tab and then you click on this folder then you navigate to where uh, the folder containing your work is so i'm going to put layer stack then go back because it's in data and inside data is in uh 20 2009 and then we have field all right so i'm going to click on band one click ok and add go back there band two click OK, uh, band 3, click OK and add, go back there, band 4, click OK and then add, go back band 5, click OK and add, and finally band 7, and then we click OK, then we add, then we're going to impute, we're going to select the output now, the output is going to be, um, the layer stack where we already have all the years so this is going to be 20 2009 and we're going to okay the default uh format is going to be img as image and format so it's going to process and um it's going to composite the whole thing together so composite or layer stack is the process of converting those black and white those uh 
black and white into color so that we can be able to really interpret and and extract information from it. So let's wait for it to finish so that we could proceed from here. Not three. So we have our layer start completed. So we're going to click on dismiss and then we close. So when we go to file and then we click on recent document, then you see the one we just composited with layer stacked. All right, so it's loading data. Now, when you look at the data, it has no any loss of those magnitude moves. So those loss are not. So now next we're going to go into, we're going to get the, um, we're going to go to the next software of use. We'll be able to use Google, uh, we've not used Google Earth yet, so we've used QGIS. Now we're going to use, we've used uh, Erdos Imaging. So we want to go to ArcGIS now. So that we are going to um, get the when to get the the shape file that we are going to use for clipping the data now. So we've done layer stack. So next we're going to do we're going to perform histogram equalization. Then we'll subset. I'm trying to on the cardas imaging. We add GIS first while we do histogram equalization. So the next thing is to do histogram equalization. So you still on raster, you go to radiometry, then you come down to histogram equalization. So you're just going to come here and you click on the output this time around. So we're going to still use this folder, but then we're going to create another folder we call it histo, and we leave it like that. So when we see, we know that it's histogram equalization. This will be done on top of the 2009, which is our area of study. All right, so it's processing now. So once it's done, we're going to see that it's done. And from there, we're going to see doing what we're supposed to do. So so while that other one was completed, we have this one that completed when RGS has opened. So we're going to briefly extract the shape file of the study area and then we're going to continue with. So we have left here and so I'm going to go to where all my shape files are. And then I'm going to extract that of Lafia. So we have an Osgov data here that we're going to use. That's it. On this. Now, can you my mouse? Do the same part. This works. So I'm going to carry the local government. Share fire of the whole country. So I'm going to now on page part just laugh here out. Yeah. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to attribute. I'm going to locate Nasarawa and then I'm going to locate laugh here to be precise. Hello. Back in the portal, they see. Okay, we can see now sort of and then we're in need of Lafia. So once we select that, we are going to see selected. So we'll right click and we export data. And we're going to put it in the folder where we're working right now, which is um under project and then under this. So we're going to drop it under data. 
We're going to name it Black Stair. Then we're going to change this to Shape File so that it enables us. Alright, so we've exported that. So I'm going to remove the look the job here. And then next thing is this data will if we check the properties of this data, it's currently in uh, WGS nineteen eighty four. But we need it in uh UTM. So let's go to source and see. See that is WGS and that is GCS. So we need to convert this so we need to project this to the uh, projector coordinate system. So I'm going to type project and I'm going to use this project under the data management tool. So I'm going to bring in the last year and uh, so I'm going to select where it's going to be saved so where it's going to be saved is uh, put it under data UTM and I'm going to leave it like that and then under the coordinate system it's on so, that. so, so I'm going to use this and then I'm going to click OK. So now it has converted to the UTM. So now we're going to go back to Erdas to complete the tax. So now the next thing is to bring in our this. Okay, so let me remove this and bring in the histogram equalization. So once I click on this, we have it here. So next is to, we're going to subset. That's all we have according to our. So we're going to subset now. We have two more to go. So you come back to, you click on this place, either this, sorry, you click on this dark habit and then you click on open vector. So this vector, you are going to the folder that is containing the shape file we just created so by using the utm because if they are not on the same coordinate system it will not work all right so you click on this it will turn yellow and then you come back home and then you paste from selected object now you see that there are signs that it is selected so you click on it if you do not, if you just leave it like this, it's not going to still work. So you have to click on this. So after you click on it, you go back to raster. And then this time around, you're going to subset uh, chips. So you come to create subset image. Then you click on the output. And then you go to where this will be. So let's use... Oh. And that will create a new folder now with one them subset. So under subset, we are going to put 2009 <coughs> subset. So click on it. And then we're going to come down to AOI. And then we're going to click on viewer. So we we'll click OK. And now we we'll click OK. So this is going to subset this image and then to our desired location, right? So our subset is done, so dismiss and then we close. So we're going to save this AOI for later. All right, so we're going to use it later. So we'll remove and then we'll save it. So we'll save it in, uh, in one of the folders. We're going to use it later. So we'll put this still under the substrate. I'm going to put it AOI, right? Now, I'm going to remove both the Lafayette and I'm also going to remove this 2009. 
So we will come to file and then we'll click on this 2009 is going to bring us to the subset. So it has subset this to the portion we're looking for. All right. So now the next thing we'll be doing is to go back to our lecture notes. We're going to have is how to train pixels. All right. So now I'm going to go to spectra. And on spectra, we're going to change the the bands. I'm going to basically use 541. I'm going to use 541, right? So, 541 is similarly not going. Let's use 6, 5, and 2. All right, so we use this for the classification. So you're going to turn on your booklet. So first we need to make this into a smaller size because we're bringing our booklet into this same environment. All right. So, <clears throat> make this bigger than the booklet. So we're going to launch our booklet. Wait. Wait. So. Wait. 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 So the Google Ad has open, so you also minimize it. So we're going to draw it as we we'll adjust it to fit in the frame. Okay. So once this is done, you're going to come to Google Earth and then you click connect. You click match Google Earth to viewer and then you sync them together. All right, so that anytime you zoom here, it's going to take you straight to the location of uh, where you're working on. So you see on Google Earth, it's going to take me to that here, right? So you can see it's moving to last year. So affirming that we are on the same location. So you can see the river down here. See this, right? So what we're going to do next, we're going to open our Excel because we're going to be training pixels and our wins to be saving our training point. So for this year, I'm just going to save, show you how to save the ground point so that, because uh, we're not doing accuracy assessment in this video. So you minimize the Excel as well. The information we need in here will be each team. Now then, serial number, that is class number, you know. Depending on the class, you just class, whether it's a built up or then the future name. Is it a build of all? Because it's going to use column A, B, C to identify for accuracy assessment, right? So let's minimize it. So coming back to here, you go to raster and then you go to classification and you go to supervised classification and then signature editor. So on signature editor, it turns up on then we're going to go to drawing. Then we're going to use polygon. So we affirm that where we are now is a built up as open that is affirming it. So you see the whole of this place is built up. We're going to pick sample of this whole place and then we click on this arrow down here. So it's going to enter as one. So we could also come here and then we pick a place mark. I'm only going to show this one and I'm not going to come here again. Then you bring out your Excel. So, 
where this is or currently this is not on Eastern and North. Then let's go back and change it. So you go to um, Tools, you come to Options, then you change it to UTM and then you OK. All right. So I'm going to bring back the place mark. So with the place mark on, then I'm just going to copy this Eastern. I'm going to paste it. I'll copy the Northern. I'm going to paste it. So we already know that the future is built up. So this is how you do for all the remaining ones. I won't be coming here to show you how to do this. I'm only going to use Google to verify this. So you will do all of that. I will now show you what, how to save it before I run out the video. All right, so we pick our place mark and then we identify where it is built up using the eight of the Google because you can see if you zoom out very well, you can see a vegetation somewhere around there. But then you have to be careful while you're picking your pixels. So the quality of the training in the pixels will determine the accuracy of your classification. Going to use line just to further this place so that I don't go too far out. So I'm not going to pick too many points. I mean, I have six. Okay, let me randomly pick from other side and then let me pick from this few communities here. Yes. You see, Google is aiding us, aiding us to understand that this is really built up. All right. So as I zoom to that direction, you see that it is built up. But it won't be that, okay, I'm only looking at reflectors. I'm also looking at the ground data. I'm confirming it that it is built up. So you see, it's built up, right? So. You highlight the whole of it and then you click on this one with three dots and it's going to make selection for you. So I'm going to just name it. You do it up. All right. I'm going to change the color to maybe. Let's use this. Okay, let's use this code. All right. So you can save this in case of anything that anything happens to your system. All right. I'm going to save it to create a folder for it. So I'm going to go back and then let's create a folder for we call it pixels. Inside this pixel I have 2009 signature in it. All right. Now, also know that there are two major sources of classification. We have the object base and the pixels base. This one that I'm doing is called pixel base. All right. So, the next we're going to be doing is the reverse, which is this. So, you will check that Google it will verify that for us that we are on a reverse. Going to click so you see it's telling me that there's river there. <clears throat> so I'm going to pick this same one T. I'm 
All right, I'm trying to pick much so that we. I was going to pick in five five, so let me pick this one. Okay, so um, we have up to five. Yes, so we'll just call it. This may not be accurate, but I'm just trying to show you so that and uh, can also do yours. So, what other classes should we do now? Let's do PLM. Yeah, let's do PLM. Let's verify that this white ish is actually BLM. So, let's wait for it to come. Yes, it's actually in BLM. So you see that's the advantage of using an eye on the guy. So see BLM and also a farmland at the same time. So, so we have to verify because we are not sure of what is there. You see that may be cloud after though I know we downloaded this image at a zero cloud send. But then you can't be too careful. Funny. Let's add one more and then we could classify like this or we could add more classes but the video is already getting too long enough already, so I uh, wouldn't want us to continue the. But then you could, depend on all the classes you have to work on, to so select them. Like now we have um, vegetation, we have other future farmlands and the rest. So, so I'm just going to use this three class for now. All right, just going to use this three class. Let me save. Now to classify, you can either do that here or you go back inside you. To do that here, you just click on classify and then you see supervised classification. Do that here, you come here under class. Scan raster and then you come to classification, then you go to supervised classification and then supervised classification. Right. So this time I have to enter the injured signature, but here the signature is already there. So let's locate where the signature is, pixels, and then to throw my nine signature. So the output will be in. The output we're going to just say, okay. The output will create a folder and see classification. Now why I create folder is so that I don't get confused at any time. So each of the things I'm doing, I'm going to create folder. So I'm say 2019, 2009, sorry. So uh, then, like I said before, I said we need to save the AOI for later. Now, this is where we need to use the AOI because if this was to be classified, it's going to classify with extra data. So we just wanted it to classify just exactly the point we do the whole thing. So I'm going to click on AOI here and I'm going to click uh, AOI file. So we have AOI file somewhere that we're going to bring. So let's go to and then let's go back. We have uh we have it on the subset. So we'll click on the other and then we import it. This will be for where we want it to have our classification stop at. Okay. I'm going to already have maximum likelihood. So that's enough. We're going to click on OK and watch it classify. So let's hope I did reflect on long jobs, mix up with themselves. And let's see what we have. All right. So we close. Then we go back to file and then we click on this. Now let's look at what we have. So the class has given this one come out well because it's saying the whole of this is free. I think maybe because we did not uh, 
include other classes and all that. That's why it's basically this is what you can do. And then don't forget that the reflectance always have issues. The reflectance always have. That's why most people use object based these days. So you will also check out object based. The reason I believe there are other features we didn't touch much here. So that's another thing. And we didn't touch our uh, vegetation and the rest. So maybe that's why the built and the the river water body is taking over our place. So but basically I'm not going to do anything. Show you how to do that from the downloading of the data down to where we process it. So I will see you in many more video ahead. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So for now, bye bye. Okay.